Okay, uh, Derby County is obviously a football club dominating the the non-playing headlines and the non-transfer market headlines in recent days with the collapse of the proposed takeover bid by uh, Kirchner, the American businessman. After those two extensions, the club is facing liquidation. Uh, That is a very real threat. Uh, The EFL has decided to take a more hands-on approach with with any potential takeover. There are currently eight bids to buy Derby County uh, on the table. Now, one of the bidders is well known to this channel and well known to English and Scottish football, and that's Mike Ashley. Having completed his sale of Newcastle uh, United midway through last season, and he's obviously had involvement with Rangers by, you know, having a stake in in Rangers north of the border, he's one of the businessmen who have put their hand up to say, I would like to buy this football club. Now, Newcastle United fans will tell you, be be careful what you wish for with Mike Ashley. Um, Is he the right guy to take on Derby County? in the current state the club is in. Now, Derby County owe the taxman a lot of money. The club is administration. Uh, They owe over 30 million to HM Revenue and Customs in unpaid taxes. That is a concern. They do have a large amount of debt. They are in administration and the time, the clock is ticking. Um, They only have five players currently on the books and the future of Wayne Rooney as manager is up for debate and question. Now, if a club was to come along and you know, try and buy Wayne Rooney out of his contract. They could release some funds into the football club, you know, to assist with the financial situation. It won't solve their financial situation, but it could assist. Now, Mike Ashley, as I say, his tenure of Newcastle United was fought with controversy. Yes, there was a tax fraud investigation. There was the two relegations from the Premier League. There was the lack of funds given in the transfer market and the uncertainty when Rafa Benitez and Steve Bruce were both in charge. There were ways that the club was run that, you know, spark some debate um but for the most part they were a premier league side now the fact that it took four years basically to sell the club from 2017 uh through till 2021 uh, tells you how complicated a takeover process can be but if you look at the chelsea situation they it shows how quick the process can be uh, swindon town this time last year were facing the similar situation to derby county facing going out of business and their takeover took days to where they are now. So it's not without the realms of possibility that Mike Ashley or one of the other potential bidders can buy this football club and can be in the hot seat, proof of funds, etc. And, and being installed before the start, official start of next season, which is sometime in July when the official pre-season starts, is when they want to get this takeover deal done. It's not without the realms of possibility that they can do it in a very short time frame. It's very, very doable. Um, and Mike Ashley is very keen uh, to, to buy the club. But the problem is this month's wages will most likely have to be sourced from an external partner in, in paying the wages. An external source would have to come up with the funds to pay the wages. If that doesn't happen, then there's an even bigger concern with, with the day-to-day running of the football club. Now, as I say, there's only five players currently on the books. Could one of them have to be forced to be sold to free up some cash to pay wages? That is a, a real concern. Could Wayne Rooney be bought out of his contract by another club? And there are clubs looking for a manager right now. And Wayne Rooney's future is very uncertain, considering it was heavily tied to the potential takeover by the Kirchner deal. Uh, and now, you know, his future is very, very uncertain. Now, he has remained committed to the club thus far, but it's looking more likely that he could be on the way out. Now, at no point has anyone said that the potential buyers, Mike Ashley or one of the other seven other bids, uh, for example, want to sack Wayne Rooney or make a change in the managerial position. There's no one who has been interested in buying the club who have stated they want a change of management. And Wayne Rooney proved with, with no funds and no transfers allowed apart from, you know, promoting youth players and free transfers, that, hey, their record actually was better than the previous season, ironically, and they would have actually you know, done better and finished higher up the table than the season prior, which is a fantastic achievement. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. It'll be interesting to see if, if uh, the EFL and the administrators, Quantama, uh, go with the Ashley bid or one of the other bids. Uh, but Mike Ashley has got money in the bank recently from his sale of Newcastle United. Uh, so proof of funds is not a problem. He has got experience in owning a football club, whether, you know, Newcastle fans will say, be careful what you wish for. Uh, He is very tight fisted with the cash, but he can bring stability, uh, I think. And I've been heavily critical of his ownership of Newcastle United since I started this channel. I have been heavily critical of Mike Ashley's ownership of Newcastle United. But he has been involved in football 
for a very, very long time. Uh, he currently got a, a, a small stake in Rangers, so it's not as if he's alien, you know, football ownership is alien to him. Uh, and I think that goes in his favour when it comes to, you know, uh, accepting a preferential bid, is he has experience of English football and running a club. Now, whether he's the right guy to take Derby County forward in the short to medium term, that's another debate. But it is interesting um, how quickly he's gone from selling Newcastle United to wanting to be involved with Derby County. Very, very interesting. So we'll leave that there. Place your thoughts in the comments section below. I want to hear from Derby fans and just football fans in general, what they feel about the Mike Ashley bid to buy Derby County. And also, is he the right guy to take the club forward? Are there other bidders out there or other potential owners out there who could be a better fit for this club? And will we see Derby County cease to exist in a couple of weeks? That is a very real possibility. But as I say, with Swindon Town last season and Chelsea towards the end of this season, a quick takeover is possible. But as we saw with the sale of Newcastle United, a protracted takeover process is also highly likely, which is not suitable for Derby County at this stage. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below and I will have some more videos for you very, very soon.